Let's find out the importance of loggerheads right here in Oman. And of course, the spotlight would be Masira. Uh, Dana Sarhani, um, you are from ESO today, Environment Society of Oman. You've been giving us a detailed study with the colleagues from there. Can you tell us loggerheads? Why have you started a campaign now from ESO? Uh, we've started a campaign on loggerhead turtles um, on Masira Island in particular mm -hmm. uh, right now uh, because last year IUCN declared um, the loggerhead turtles of Masira Island as critically endangered. Mm -hmm. What that means is they're one uh, level uh, from being extinct. Mm -hmm. And this what? is especially the turtles northwest of the Indian Ocean, which is part of Oman. Yes. Um, our turtles are really special uh, because it's the second largest uh, population in the world. And so when we are talking about conserving them, it's not about conserving them just for Oman or for the Northwestern Indian Ocean, but it's actually natural, it's, in, it's a world heritage. And they're really important um, as part of our marine ecosystem. And uh, looking at very simply, Florida is number one and Oman is the second largest population. What should the common man do? I think if, if I was going to give three tips mm -hmm. of what you as individuals can do, uh, the number one thing is when you go onto turtle nesting beaches, uh, please do not shine lights at night um, in the turtle's eyes. Uh, please don't use any lights because it diverts the turtles um, and confuses them. The other thing is when you are just camping or just on day trips on beaches, Please do not litter. Uh, take your litter with you because the turtles confuse that for food, especially plastic bags, and they eat it. Um, don't leave your litter on coral beaches. Don't leave your litter around the beaches. Pick it up and be responsible. Uh, we need to do this together. Each of us is responsible. Because I understand uh, mis they mistake the plastic bags for jellyfish if they're in the water. Imagine the thick jaws that can disintegrate seashells actually get choked from plastic bags. That's miserable. Yeah, we have found many numerous uh, numbers of turtles have been choked um, by plastic bags um, as well on the sea, mm -hmm. on, on beaches mm -hmm. across Oman um, because they come up and they come to nest and on their way back they might want to nibble something and they think it's jellyfish and they choke. Um, the other thing is we ask you if, if you belong to fish, communities um, that have fisheries, um, please raise awareness amongst your families, among the fishermen, um, that when they see or catch a turtle in their nets to release it. Um, because by catching is the next threat, yeah, one so, of the biggest threats. Yeah, so one of the biggest threats worldwide um, uh, for marine turtles is bycatch. A lot of fishermen basically um, unintentionally uh, throw their nets in and turtles get caught up in their nets and they can't get out. Uh, if we can just um, instigate uh, measures uh, within the fishermen is to change their behaviors or just throw the turtles back in the sea, um, then we can save a lot of turtles' lives. So let's save the loggerheads. And I'm with Dana. Thank you so much. Dana is from ESO, Environment Society of Oman. Thank you. You've been listening or watching the talk. Thank you. Thank you, Lashmi. Thank you.